Hey there, it's Melissa Zimmerman, virtual assistant and digital creator, and I'm about to show you how to edit a Canva newsletter template and insert it into a Gmail email with the ability to click links. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you are signed into your Canva account, and then you will click the link for the newsletter template. So if you are using one of my newsletter templates, then you'll get a page something like this. And we've got the very first one here. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and it's going to open up a tab I already have open. <laughs> so it looks something like this. I'm going to click use template and it opens it right up in Canva. So you're going to, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. You're going to want to edit the content to look exactly how you want it to look. Um, you won't have the ability to use customized names in this, obviously, but you can add that into your actual Gmail content or your email content, and I will show you how. So you would want to probably erase this out of here. My keyboard shut off. Um, you want to insert your own graphic here and you'll see back in these templates um, in the package that I include it has the header graphic template so that you can make your own you would download it re-upload it to your to your photos here and you can pop it in just like that if you want to link that you can go ahead and do so by adding your website in here um, just do that quick because if you will have noticed, I did a tutorial on how to add links in Canva. So do your edits in here. And then the next step that you want to do, we are going to download this twice. The very first, we're going to download it as a PNG or a JPEG file. I like PNG files because I, they just are cleaner and a little bit more compressed. So PNG download. And we wait for my computer. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go back and this is the important part to make sure that your links work is download it in a PDF. I'm going to download it. Um, it, it really, because we're going to be uploading it to your drive, it doesn't matter whether it's print or standard, but if you were to add a PDF right to your email, you definitely want standard because it's a smaller file size. And even the, even at this file size, something as big as this might be too big to send in a email. So. Um, just keep that in mind. But for today, because we're uploading it to Drive, I'm going to click PDF print, download that. And then once that's downloaded, you're going to go to your own Google Drive or whatever cloud storage system you use. I love Google Drive because it's free. And you're going to upload the PDF one here. This is the one with the links that work. We're going to add it into our drive and hope that the computer does it quickly. Then you're going to right click on this, click get shareable link. Make sure that toggle is on, so link sharing is on. Oh my gosh. And double click. You can either right click and, oops. Oh boy, I'm just all over the place today. Okay, so right click, get shareable link. Uh, it is already copied, but I'm going to select it and click Command C on my Mac. It'd be Control C if you're on a Windows computer. And I have copied the link to this PDF. Now what I'm going to do is go over to my Gmail, click compose to create a letter, an email, if you will. This is where you can type in the name. If you're using mail merging and you're going to be sending this to multiple people in your streak, you can use the insert variable and first name. If you don't yet use streak, what are you waiting for? I offer that as a service to set up your streak for you, but we'll come back to that another day. So you can add in the name, Hey Mary, and then you're going to add in the graphic. So you come over down here to insert photo, and this is where you're going to upload the PNG. So this is just the picture file. And it's inserted. Now when it inserts like that, it's tiny and nobody can see that. So I'm gonna click on it, click original size, and then it's added in like this. So the last step before we send this email, or second last step I should say, we're going to make sure that we select this. So I've just kind of grabbed it. You're going to, um, you can click the link down here or you can press Command K on a Mac or Control K on a Windows. And this is where we're going to paste that PDF drive link that we had you know, over here. So I'm pasting that in here, press OK. And what that does is it's linked this graphic. So when we send it to somebody, they will see this graphic and then when they click on one of, if they click anywhere, it's going to open up the PDF version 
which will show them what it looks like. So your next step is to put in their email address, obviously, and some kind of subject line. I have um, added a suggested subject line into the Gmail instructions for this particular package, this March newsletter that you can create whichever one you want. And then you would send it. I don't have a Mary to send to, but I do have my own, I have to bring it up, technical difficulties. Um, I do have one that I have sent to myself. So here's the version that I sent to myself. If I click on any of these, I don't know if this one's, oh, sorry, it, we're, we're in the PNG file. Sorry, this is what it looks like when your person gets it. So if I click anywhere on here, it's going to open up the drive version. And now I have to go back to the other one. Oh boy. Okay, so it opened up the PDF drive version over here. And this is where things are linked. So if I wanted to go to the Bread and Show podcast, we could click on that. I haven't linked that header. So click on that and it's going to open up the branded podcast. So that's the best way to do it with Gmail. There isn't an easier way to make a pretty newsletter with clickables. Um, you could spend your time at copy and pasting and adding graphics in, but it's going to show up differently in each um, person's mailbox and whether they're looking on mobile or the desktop. So this is the easiest way that I found it to look pretty. An even easier way is if you use MailChimp, I do have the template for MailChimp, the newsletter template, so that all you have to do is click the link and it's drag and drop section so you can easily send it, easily edit it and use it over and over again as a different template. Um, if you use another mail platform like Flowdesk or Drip, unfortunately at this time, those mail platforms do not allow for seamless template transfers. However, if you have familiarity with HTML templates and your mail platform allows the importing of HTML uh, templates or the use of HTML coding, please feel free to contact me and I will provide you with the coding for this template if you have purchased this template from me. Let me know in the comments if this tutorial helped you out. If you wanna stay up to date on future tutorials, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you wanna check out this newsletter template and other templates to help streamline your online health coaching business, check out melissazimmermanva.com. I am looking forward to working with you soon and I hope you have a really awesome day.